Hey Team Hot, I hope you all are having a great day. Um, I'm a little done up today because I was out interviewing, <sighs> doing dual duty. I'm still working on my business, growing and grinding. Um, I'm really excited to host this meetup on March 31st. Uh, the link is in my bio. I would love for you all to join me, whether you're an entrepreneur or thinking about becoming an entrepreneur. We are in the process of creating our tribe of Team Hot here in Chicago. Um, and for those that are not in the area, don't worry. Um, you can attend the event. Uh, so email me. I am going to... Um, Use a third party source so that I can make sure you all are able to join in and be a part of the meeting as well. Um, we will be focusing on creating accountability partners as well as um, setting our goals for ourselves for the year. Um, I think that we want to write those goals down and make it um, shareable. I think when you say it out loud and you say it to another person and they become your accountability partner, it helps you grow so much as an entrepreneur. It really does. Um, I was reminded about that just like moving and transitioning from DC to here. I think that was like one of the things that I was really missing uh, was the fact of, you know, my roommate was my live in accountability partner. And I love him, miss him. Hey, Derek. And, um, but we really helped each other grow and evolve in so many different areas. Um, we're similar, but we also have interests outside of each other that we can converse about and talk about and really help each other grow. And we keep it funky with each other. So that is what we are um, creating in our team hot membership Uh We are having open enrollment right now for team hot members. Um, we're going to do that until um, midsummer just because we want to grow our base and create our foundation. Uh, but we really have some goals, some strong goals for this year that I am sticking to, I'm stating, and I'm moving forward in that way. Um, but it was a lot of trials and tribulations to get to that point. Uh, and I've learned a lot. I always say that it is an opportunity to learn something new every day. Um, I'm continuing to grow my knowledge base, reading, educating myself on business, marketing, um, and different things just so that I can increase my knowledge base and be able to share that information with others um, because I think that is the important part of the tribe that I want to create. I want to create a safe space where people feel comfortable and being free in their authentic self so that we can truly help them grow. This is not the um, the group to be cute or um, be out and about across the city. We are really focused on grinding and growing black entrepreneurship. That is my goal as we are fighting to change the narrative of blackness and um, creating opportunities to create wealth for our community. Uh, I do not want to have to travel all the way to the other side of town just to have a quality business. And I think that that is something that we really need to focus on. Having those quality businesses in our neighborhood that are black owned. You cannot tell me that is not possible. Um, and so we are fighting for that. And our tribe is growing and we want to move to the next level. So we hope that you join us. Again, the ticket info is in my bio. Click the link RSVP and you can go on to my website to make your uh, $15 donation to join us. Um, and it's really just to cover food um, and cocktails because I am an event planner slash caterer uh, slash event planner. And so I always like to feed people. It's just a thing. And then I get to try out some new recipes, try out some new light bites and see um, what everyone's ideals and opinions are. So I'm really excited for that. So Sunday, March 31st, we will all be linking together um, so that we can start holding our monthly meetups. And if you are interested in joining us on Sundays as we... Um, use that as our planning time but we will meet monthly as a group and you all are welcome to inbox me to uh, find out when we are having our Sunday meetups just to get 
ourselves focused and plan for the week i think that um in getting to this space this is something that i've wanted to do for a very long time i've been saying team hot team hot team hot for years uh, but one thing that i had to learn as i am fighting to get over fear um, which i'm really learning as i've been fasting that is really in my own mind it's no one else thinking it but me and so I am here to say that I want to encourage you to move past fear and don't let failure hold you or feel like it is the end all be all. Failure is just a lesson. Take the time to learn the lesson in it. I had the wonderful opportunity of talking to um, a wonderful gentleman who is a carpenter. He's been a carpenter since 1968 and he was sharing his journey with me and I can't wait to sit down with him so I can add him to the hotness so that you can kind of get like a behind the scenes look at the life of an entrepreneur. I want to be honest in my representation and really showcase the good, the bad, the ugly and the growth because that's ultimately the point is to grow. So while we were talking and just listening to his story, which I thought was truly amazing because he came up in a time where there were no black carpenters in his class. He was the only one. He uh, made it very cl clear that the company used him a lot, even in advertising around the city of Chicago because he was, they were using his color, his blackness, um, to elevate and showcase that they were doing something wonderful and incorporating and including people when really it was just one person that they had there of color in the entire organization. Um, but just talking about his journey and the lessons he learned, um, I think sometimes we get caught up in the hype. And we forget that the goal is to grow and be able to really thrive as a business. And, you know, he stayed with that company for a while. He learned the lessons that he needed to learn and ultimately took that with him to grow his own business. And it just was really encouraging to hear. And as I was encouraging him to hold like a little mini sessions um, in the city of Chicago uh, for black men to um, learn something new, learn a trade, learn about trades, learn about why it's important to still be a part of that industry. Um, I think we have left that alone for a while and it's really a, something that no one can ever take from you. You will always need plumbing. You will always need someone to uh, be able to do drywall and different things and be able to build and use their hands and we are very creative people. So um, it's something that's not, he was discussing how even the um, institutions that teach those trades are no longer in the city um, because they wanted to uh, the city was really boycotting and pushing them to include all cultures. And their fix to that was moving outside the city of Chicago. So now if you're in the city and you want to learn that trade, if you don't have a car, you can't get out there because it's legitimately in another state. It's no longer in the city of Chicago. So it was really interesting um, just talking with him and talking about the things that he learned over the years and how that helps him grow as a entrepreneur and it was like you know really eye-opening to me because I think sometimes even when things don't go the way that I intend for them to go sorry the ambulance is going by um, when it doesn't go the way that I intend to I feel myself getting frustrated and I get frustrated with myself and feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing when in reality it was a lesson to teach me something for later and when I look back at the things that have occurred and things that didn't occur um, it was really just so much opportunity for growth so I'm really appreciative of that at this point and I'm like I said facing fear I can't be afraid to fail it's just those are the life lessons that you learn. And those are things that we want to be able to share with other entrepreneurs as they're coming up so they can avoid those pitfalls. So my question this week is, what failures did you have while you were growing your business that now when you look back at it, it was... Um, it was just a tool that helped you grow to the next place in your entrepreneurship and in growing your business. Because failure is not failing. It's just the middle 
or the beginning. It is not the end. And I can't wait to share that post with you all. So make sure you check back this week to read up on that post. All right, stay hot.